Hello, and welcome to our lesson on calculating a percentage decrease using a multiplier. So we're going to begin by decreasing £400 by 20%. To do this, we need to understand that 100% is the original value of £400. And we're going to take away the 20%, which is the decrease. So we're left with 80% of £400. To use a multiplier, we need to write this 80% as a decimal, which is 80 divided by 100. Percentage means divide by 100. So we have 0.8 of, which means multiply by 400 pounds. And we get 320 pound. For our next question, we're going to decrease 160 pound by 40%. So again, we need to understand that 100% is the original value of £160. And we're going to take away 40% because this is a decrease. So we're left with 60% of £160. To calculate the multiplier, we divide the 60 by 100, which is 0.6. So 0.6 multiplied by 160 pound, which is 96 pound. Do you want to try question C and question D by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question C, we know 100% is the original 365 pounds. We're taking away the 8%. So we're left with 92% of £365. We can write this as a decimal by dividing it by 100. So we have 0.92 of which means multiplied by £365. So the sale price of a TV is £335.80. Okay. Let's try question D. For question D, a household spends £248 per week on bills. They economise and save 12.5%. So 100% is the original £248. They are saving the 12.5%, so we take it away from 100. So we're working out 87.5% of the original £200. And 48 pounds. To write this as a decimal, we divide it by 100, so we have 0.875 multiplied by 248. So our expenditure in the next week is 217 pounds, which means they have saved the difference between the two, which is 31 pounds. Okay, let's try one more question. In this question, a sofa costs £970. In one week, it is reduced by 12%. The following week, it is reduced by a further 15%. How much should it cost after the second reduction? Do you want to try this question yourself by pausing the video? And you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so the original amount is 100%, which is £970. We are reducing it by 12% in week one. So we have 88% of £970, which is 0.88 times 970, 853.60. In week two, we are reducing by a further 15% of this value. So this value is now the 100%. By taking away 15%, we're left with 85% of £853.60, which is 0 0.85 multiplied by the new value. So the cost after the second reduction is £725.56. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.